Hi, I'm Steven Soroka. Uh, I'm an improv and sketch performer by night, and by day I'm, you know, looking for work. Well, if I can keep my mouth shut, I think I'm a pretty good, like, social player, so I think I can walk that line of, you know, right in the middle and making some big moves at the end to kind of, like, get the jury's respect later. Matt Hunsaker, 26, I'm a writer and I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. I will win Survivor because um, I think uh, when there are like certain things I get really competitive with, so I think like some of the challenges and stuff like that I will do well in, um, and also I'm wearing, I'm wearing light shoes. Uh, Leslie Maisel, I'm uh, over 18, <laughs> and occupation, a uh, little bit of everything. Uh, play with a lot of heart, which I don't know if that really takes you that far in Survivor. I want to be strong for my team, so it's just to come out of the box support so we can win and not be voted, you know, go and go to Tribal Council. Not backstab, backstab. I can't even say the words, I probably won't do it. But we'll see what happens. Hey, uh, my name's John, I am 27, uh, I work as a political organizer, and I am originally from the Touch of New Jersey. I think my strategy is sort of the golden rule of treating others the way I'd want to be treated. Um, with, I guess, the caveat that, like, at the end, I'd be aware that things are going to get messy. Jason Sines, 31 years old, unemployed. I'm strong, I'm going to win immunity. Our team's going to be strong. Uh, and then when it finally comes down to it, I'm going to have a Frisbee, and I'm going to have these shades, probably. I'm going to be too cool for anyone to... Uh, vote me off. Either that or I'll bribe somebody. I'm Violet Crumbine. I'm in my mid-twenties and or like mid to late twenties and um, I do various jobs and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. I'm really smart. I'm really friendly. Everyone likes me. I have a strong winning spirit. I always win. I'm really good at everything I do. I'm always the best. I'm really challenging. Elias, 28, Cabin John, Maryland, Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, piano teacher. I can hold my breath for a minute. I can. I think I'll be that guy that the stronger players carry with them to the very end, thinking, oh, he's harmless because he's so bad at this. Um, and then I will attack like a snake at the last moment, um, and that's how it'll be. Manuel, I am 26. I'm a grad student over at Rutgers. I'm from Columbia. I'm gonna, kind of my looks, I think they're gonna take me really far. Um, I think it's a solid strategy. Uh, my name is Carrie McGuire. My age is not applicable. My occupation is being unoccupied. Um, my hometown is uh, Palo Alto, but also Ashland, Oregon. Uh, I don't have a strategy. I'm just sort of figuring it out as I go. I'm Sachin Kamdar. I am 27 years old. I run a startup in uh, Midtown, and I was born in Kentucky, raised in Ohio. <laughs> I don't really have a strategy. I like to play things by ear. As, as they come at me, I'll decide. Timmy Lyon. Um, I'm a man with a van in Brooklyn, New York. 27 years old. Lodi, Wisconsin, originally. I'm the strongest. People don't know I'm strong. I look weak. I look like a scrawny little boy, but I'm very underneath it all. I'm not very confident, but I am strong. I'm Chrissy. I'm a 30. I'm a graphic designer from Florida. I'm sure a lot of people might think that I'm here in an alliance or as part of a team, but every man for himself. And I'm not here to make friends, and I'm not even number two for self. Hey, I'm Dan Stefano. I'm from, uh, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm a uh, associate producer for a TV show. The strategy is to, uh, you know, make, make everyone think that, uh, you know, I'm not very good, but, you know, in the end, actually be the uh, final survivor. Awesome. All right. Woo! Team Bushwick. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Team Bushwick wins immunity. Team Gowanus, you will be going to tribal council tonight.
Everyone light your torch and take a seat. Team Gowanus, right here, the first tribal council, lost the first challenge, a race to tribal council. So what happened, guys? We, uh, we were just, we were running strong. We had, most of the people were in the lead ahead of the other tribe, but um, when we got to the park, we didn't know where to go next, and I guess they asked somebody and they got ahead of us. See, I, they, I asked one person and I think he answered the slowest way possible, as if it was like, Lauren Fishburne like doing a, a no, uh, was, monologue. He said, "Hey, where, where, where's the pavilion?" Yeah, and he goes, "The music pavilion." <laughs> and I was like, "You're high. We gotta go." And then stuff was falling out of the bags. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like, do you pick it up? Do you, you know, you don't even think about that. You want to like leave it. But yeah, and retro something to leave, But yeah. I feel like they just happened to be closer to here they when they entered the, the yeah. park and then saw I was here. So, uh, Jason. Hey, do you feel vulnerable? Yeah, because I was a navigator. And even though my the map didn't have this specific location, you know, like, I was leading the group into the park, so I do feel vulnerable, yeah. Um, Violet, what are you basing your vote on tonight? Well, some alliances have been formed, and I'm sticking to my alliance. And just in the, um... You know, the first vote's always the hardest, I think. And um, so you go with what maybe some people have mentioned. And, um, you know, that also brings a uh, community within the group, too, if everybody feels that way. And, you know, you just have to make a decision and then sort of move forward and, and hopefully get back on it on a team that we're all working together moving forward. So we all have to be on sort of the same page and, like, be okay with it and be stronger. Yeah, it's a little early in the game to tell what's going to be a short <coughs> skill or not, so it's a little arbitrary at this point, uh, just kind of figuring out, uh, just making a choice. Yeah, I mean, uh, just like they all said, I mean, you know, it's just there's some people who it seems like they don't want to be here as much as everyone else, you know, so I think that's really what at least I'm basing my vote on. I'm very sorry, this uh, is only going to the rest of the group, I did not start this. Just because uh, we agreed that's who it would be. I am it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, we all just like walked to the water fountain and um, you know they brought up some people's names, they brought up their names and who I wanted to vote out was in that circle and that's who uh, I was planning on voting for but I couldn't bring it up and then it's just too early to make enemies right now. I'm so sorry. It was really clear from uh, when we're all running over here that one of, one of us didn't want to be doing it. Well, I, I didn't mean to do it like <laughs> I'm sorry it was either you or me, but roses are red and violets are blue. Um, I'll tally the votes. Once the decision has been read, the decision is final. The person with the most votes will be asked to leave the tribal council area and we'll get a game. First vote. Violet. Next vote. Sap. Is that really okay? <laughs> Next vote is for Violet. It's two votes Violet, one vote Sap. Guys, I'll never forgive you, ever. <laughs> Next vote. It's a game. <laughs> Violet. That's three votes Violet, one vote Sap. I'm not inviting you to my birthday party. I'm sorry, Violet. <laughs> First person voted out of Survivor Brooklyn. Violet. Oh. From Near Torch. Bullshit. <laughs> I feel so genuine. Yeah, this is horrible. But the, the tribe has spoken. Oh, 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 oh Violet. Oh, no, it's, it's a good. I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just. I can't believe it. It's so soon. I just got here. I just don't. I just wanted this so bad, and 
I formed an alliance and they turned on me. I should have gone with them to the water fountain. That was stupid. And then I looked at Golby and he went, like, sorry, I'm voting you off. And I just, I knew they were gonna vote me off. I'm really angry, I'm really sad. I won't invite them to my birthday party anymore, things like that. I'm really mad.